I'm here for another five minute discussion with the wonderful Fiona, um, a specialist voice and speech coach. And I have to say, whilst we're both um, members of the PSA, when I first met you, I thought you have got such a wonderful voice. I just find it very soft and reassuring and I'll stop gushing because <laughs> it sounds a bit rude. Um, but we were just talking earlier about names, weren't we? Because you quite yes. rightly picked up that on here I'm Vic, but on LinkedIn I'm Victoria. Yes, and I asked you what you like to be called because I'd like to honour that. What matters to you? And I and I couldn't remember what we. I think I probably called you Victoria when we met at the PSA. Yeah, because we first connected on LinkedIn, and that is my name on there. And I never really gave it too much for thought because. On Instagram, I'm Vic. On Facebook, I'm Vicky. And on LinkedIn, I'm Victoria. And, you know, I, I'll answer to anything apart from, I find bitch offensive, but I'm sure you wouldn't call me that. Um, That's fair enough. What about yourself though? Because do people shorten your name? So my dad called his three daughters names that couldn't easily be shortened, apparently, and Maria, Gemma, and Fiona, and then subsequently called us. Maria, Jem, and Fee, but I can only enjoy Fee if it's somebody who's very close to me because it's intimate or a term of endearment almost. I, I worked in London when I was 20, 19, 20, and I, there was a Cockney landlord who called me Fee, and he managed to make it sound like a swear word, so I cannot stand anyone shortening my name unless they unless they have some kind of permission and unless they know that our relationship is in the right place but I also as a result of that I'm very sensitive to other people's name like checking in on you about what you like but I'm with training so I train 20 to 22 people at a time and sometimes up to 25, I guess is the biggest. And I pride myself on getting to know everyone's name and calling them by their name. But I have had a couple of incidences. I get Keith and, what's the, Keith and I think somebody who's called, I get two names mixed up and as sure as eggs are eggs, I will not know what their original name is because I'll be so convinced. Martin, Keith and Martin. But so I don't know if it's a Martin that I call Keith or a Keith that I call Martin, but it's a mental block that I just had. And in a training room, I did three lots of training over six months. And by the third session, everyone in the room was giggling and I realized I was doing it again. So I, it's about owning your own mistakes, isn't it? So I said, look, if anyone has not had a new name by me and is feeling left out just let me know and I'll give you a new name <laughs> yeah do you when you're training do you do people have name cards in front of them or how they do, you, do. How do you remember I'm absolutely rubbish at that I you know what um if you've heard of Miribane or Meribian he talks about likability and that 55 percent of how we connect with people is body language 38% is tone of voice and 8% is, is words. So think about it. If we're being introduced to each other and one word is Fiona or Victoria, aren't we putting a lot of pressure on ourselves to remember that one word when we're busy taking in body language and tone of voice and deciding, summing up our opinion of the person? So I think we need to give ourselves a bit of a break and not apologize, just say, can you just remind me of your name? But one of my tricks, because I mix people around in a training room, is I'll forget their names because I associate them with the place. And then day two, if they've worn something different, I'll forget their name because I thought of them as the guy in the pink shirt or something. So the, the thing I do is as they enter the room, when I'm meeting them virtually one by one, is I shake hands with them. So we've got eye contact. We've got a handshake, which is touch. I repeat their name, so it's visual, uh, it's visual, audible, and kinesthetic because of the handshake. And so together, I'm more likely 
to remember their name plus asking them to write it down means it's I can see it I can read it but when when they move around the room they generally don't move their name badges with them so I have to know it by then but normally I know it in the first 10 minutes and then I I do that and it I have a fairly high success rate unless it's a Martin or a Keith <laughs> and also Amanda and Karen in South Africa there was a lady called either Karen or Amanda <laughs> I could never remember and she just laughed she just accepted that I was after like six years I was never going to get it right so yeah I'm very apologetic and respectful and and you know I own my mistakes, I guess. So, but I remember being at school and um, obviously with the, uh, with the Irish in you yourself, um, Siobhan, which is not spelled how you would. And I remember the first time I ever met someone, I was like, Siobhan? Siobhan? I was like, you know, I, see, I soon learned if I don't know that to ask. Sorry, how, could you tell me how you pronounce your name? So like you yeah. say, it's being respectful to get it right. I mean, it's making me think I might write a blog on this actually. What's in a name, Vic, Vicky or Victoria? Because it's the, um, and I know we're overrunning a little bit here, it's also people saying, well, when I'm trying to look for you on one social media platform, if you call yourself something different on another, how am I gonna find you, so? Yeah. Well, I think since this morning, I've decided that you're actually Victoria. Okay. So I think it's, it's strong and it's complete. And Vic is, is almost making less of you than you are and you're a lot. So I want to honor that. That's very kind of you. There wasn't enough room for the Toria when Twitter first started with 140 characters. Oh, Fiona, it's been lovely. And I could talk to you for hours because I do, I love the voice. It's Thank just you. soft and you could, you could do bedtime stories. Have you ever thought about doing audible books? I have, and I've started the process of signing up for it. And at the moment it's rejected my postcode. So I don't know what's going on there. But I also need to have a very good room for doing it. So I need to investigate that and look into it and spending a bit of money on that as well. So Ooh, we'll see. Watch nice. this space. Watch this space. Exactly. Oh, well, I'm going to carry on chatting after I've pressed stop. <laughs>